Tongan dance or traditional dance is very spirit based. They say that if you're not Loto Lele or if you're not willing to offer a little bit of yourself in your performance, your performance will not be a great performance. Your favour isn't going to be Malia. For me, it's always an experience. I've put dance, this dance, like year after year after year, and every time I perform, it's a different feeling and it's a different moment. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm dancing dances that were like done by my grandmothers and my aunties from back then. And that's what I fell in love with. And I tell everyone, you have to learn this dance. I know it's old and it sounds boring and it's slow, but you'll fall in love with it once you learn it. And they have. <laughs> Grandfather Willy Pusiaki was a punake and composer for Queen Salote. Queen Salote had written poetry and they were given to my great grandfather to come up with compositions for these poems as well as choreography. And so that was his job. And I grew up around it. I kind of just jumped into it because I loved dancing and music so much. I was the one that remembered the actions that my dad was teaching. So he wouldn't have to be like, oh, Leah, what's that? what was the action for this verse? I'd be like, oh, it's like this, Dad, like this. So that was the learning experience in our household, eh, Mum? Yeah. I think it's running in the blood. <laughs> yeah. The music, as well as the poetry or the lyrics or the sound, that moves a person to perform in a certain way. And it's that, that whole experience is the beauty of Tongan dance. For me. Make, to make it special, go with the feeling as well. When you sing a song, there is a feeling. The doubtful. The doubtful. The ancient form of the Tarunga is the Fa'ahiula, and originally that is a, a group female dance and it was the dance for the Tongan maidens and that's where they would showcase their beauty and their grace. So different girls from different villages would participate in the um, Fahiula during the Paula nights and one would be presented to the king or he would select one. Like the original Tongan beauty is not skinny. Um, shapely, shapely girls, so girls who have meat on them and the way that they move, the way that they li haka, like the, the way that they turn their hands and the way that they sh shape their bodies to their movement. And you'll see that in the faha iula. With Tongan dance, when the girls wear their costumes, it's like the girl who has like the nice calves. It's not the feet, it's the fo'i vai, like it's the actual nice shape of the shape. leg. <laughs> so like any girls who has skinny legs, they'll be like, oh, no, vai no. kovi, like really bad legs. But the girls who had like nice calves and then nice thighs, like Tongan legs, they'll be like, tiny fo'i vai, you're like really nice. <laughs> The Samoan way of performance is mostly to show their status within their performance. But for us, it's us as low people, we go to perform for the higher people. So the Taolonga doesn't really have a status. The girl who dances isn't important for them to have that status. It's more about showcasing their beauty and grace through movement. And the Taolonga is for the people to eat it for the king and the, the locals and all that. It's common people. Dance they do for the dancing people. for the people above. And that was the history. 
when the king married into Samoa and then we started having those connections. Then we started adopting like names like the Taolona. We called it the Taolona because it was it had no connotations with war or anything like that. So like how the Taolona in Samoa, they use the, the knife as part of their dance. We don't use any weapon. So it's the Taolona is to hit and Olunga means above. Yeah. For me, when I see a really nice Taolunga, it has to be natural. We're in a day and age where pageants and the way that they choreograph for pageants and Taolungas have totally turned the Taolunga into something that's more robotic and very plastic. But when you have a Taolunga that's very natural, it's all from inside that comes out. So when they talk about mafana and spirit, and um, malia, those are all things that you find within yourself to bring out when, and then when people watch it, they need to feel that as well. You have to be willing to offer you know, a little bit of your spirit in order for the performance to be amazing or for other people to look and feel what it is that you're feeling. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.